Now she's evil. of Guybrush Threepwood trying to interfere with my big moment with Elaine once again. Well, come on and stop me. Give it your best stab. I will. Alright, so... Can we get the sword? You gonna select it or what? Go grab that damn sword. Aha! Prepare to meet your... Oh, come on! Problem? Why can't I grab anything? That's just one of the side effects of being a fleshless specter. Good thing you are, though. Just one slice of that re-enchanted blade is enough to destroy anything it touches in this mortal world. But I was gonna use that to save you and kill the Chuck again. It ain't so easy being a ghost now, is it, Mr. Freewood? Well... That's how I felt all those years ago, when I was a simple ghost pirate, roaming the seas. And now, you're about to know how it felt when you ripped my spiritual essence to shreds, when you doused me with that ghost-destroying voodoo root beer! Uh, Lady Pooh? Let's not be hasty. It felt a lot uh -oh. like this! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Guybrush, what happened? Did you defeat LeChuck? Save your wife? Avenge my death? She... She's stabbed me. What? Elaine. She's LeChuck's demon bride. And she zapped me with voodoo root beer. Demon bride? She must be under LeChuck's control. Get back in there and save her! No, she's not. She looked me right in the eyes, and then chose him. They're gonna take over the world together. There's a demonic sword involved. It's over. Well, that's good news. Huh? Now you're free to just curl up and enjoy a sad, pathetic eternity in Pirate Afterlife. Of course, I'm not sure if they're still letting whiny schoolgirls in. You'll have to check. Come on, Morgan. I just lost my wife. So go take her back, Guybrush! Are you a mighty pirate or aren't you? I... Look, I know you're not the most fearsome pirate to sail the Seven Seas, but what I've learned about the Guybrush Threepwood that inspired me for my entire life is that there isn't any situation he can't handle. And the one thing I've admired about you throughout our entire adventure together is that you never gave up on a lane. Maybe if I could find a way to use that cutlass, but if I go back, they'll just zap my ghost again. So get your body back. What, just find my body and repossess it? Wait, that sounds kind of familiar. The Voodoo Lady's locket. Find the locket, find your body. And then bring the fight to that decrepit sack of sea worms and make LeChuck rue the day he decided to mess with Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Yes! I still have no clue what rue means. But it sounded great. So, what are you gonna do? I'm going to go skewer some more sorry ghosts. Maybe practice my pickpocketing. I don't know. Something. Morgan. Thanks. Well, at least I guess you will, um... Be able to rebuild your reputation doing just that. And she didn't even try to steal Guybrush back? Your wife is dead, so you're all mine now. Because there was always like few moments here or there where it was like, Ooh, Guybrush. Okay, so I guess we are going to adventure around here again. Uh oh, what's this? Fool Treepwood, what have you done? Ah, talking crabs! 
Why did you all bend the crossroads? With the barriers shattered, the chuck is now beyond all control, plundering voodoo energy directly from the spirit realm. Thanks to you, reality itself could unravel like a cheap rug. Me? What about you, Miss All-Knowing, All-Seeing, Voodoo Puppet Mistressy Person? Why didn't you warn me that LeChuck had nefarious plans for Las Fondra Grande? I'm afraid LeChuck made fools of us all this time, Guybrush. But hope is not yet lost. Well, he didn't fool me. In fact, I'm already working on a plan to possess my body. So he can't zap me with root beer again when I go back. Yes. The voodoo root beer only affects spiritual manifestations in the physical realm. If you can manage to repossess your body, you may yet be able to use LeChuck's weapon against him. You mean the Cutlass of Kaplu? You must figure that out for yourself. Go now. Fi find your body. Find a way for your spirit to possess it. But remember, rebinding a soul to a body is not as simple as taking yourself over. You're rebelling against the natural state of things, and the universe will push back. Once you have possessed your body, you'll have to find a more permanent way to bind it to your soul. I recommend Mix and Mojo brand Spirit Gum. It can create a powerful spiritual bond that will bring your restless spirit and body together in harmony. It's also delicious. It comes in lemon, cherry, and mutton flavors. I always have some with me. Can you give me some of that spirit gum? I cannot risk coming out of hiding to aid you, Guybrush. But I was chewing some when I was in prison back on Flotsam. I may have left some back in the jail cell. Remember, spirit gum contains some ingredients from the spirit realm, so it retains some ghostly properties. Be careful with it. I must go now, Guybrush. It is too dangerous for me to let my true whereabouts be known. Ugh, I hope this is just a phase she's going through. Okay, so now she's a crab? Or no? Okay, what's that about? Okay, were you supposed to be talking? Because you didn't talk at all. Okay, I guess we're not doing anything up here. It looked like he was like mouthing something, but he didn't say anything. Alright, where does this go? Does that take me to... Whoa. This whole jumping between realms thing is gonna take some getting used to. Hey you, pipe down. We're in the middle of a pirate wake here. A what? Oh, yep, that's me. This is a pretty disappointing wake. Yeah, well, LeChuck's killing spree may have hindered the turnout a bit. And why am I posed like that? It's zany. The customers love it. What? That's exactly the way I remember you. That's great. Yo, bug eye. What do you want, Pipsqueak? Ooh, I'm a ghost. Aren't you guys scared of me? Well, you weren't very threatening while you were alive, and I'm afraid the new pirate ghost thing isn't helping. So, how did you get out of the manatee and end up on Flotsam? I don't want to talk about it. No, no, let me guess. You took the gross out subway again, didn't you? Wrong. Now buzz off. No. Hi there. Captain Threepwood, as I live and breathe. Don't rub it in. Ooh, I'm a scary ghost. Oh, I gotta be scary with him? You just screwed up my concentration. Root beer. Yikes. I better not stand under that. I don't want it splashing down on me. I have a feeling I'm supposed to do something with that so I can get the root beer. Do I have anything that I can... I could collect it in the tip jar. But it's a, it doesn't say I gotta do that just now. So... 
Do I gotta do anything else in here? Or did I just have to talk to them? Hey, it's Jacques the monkey. Hey, little guy. Huh. I wonder why his eyes are all funky again. Why, though? Why? Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm out of there, so where are we gonna go now? I guess we're gonna go back to someplace else. Let's see, right here? Maybe? Okay, is somebody supposed to- it says somebody is supposed to be here? Or no? Okay. It says that the one guy is supposed to be here, but he's not here. Here I come, LeChuck. It's gonna be just as messy as before. So I don't have my body back. Okay, LeChuck, you caught me off guard once by making Elaine spray me with root beer. Are you ready this time? Ready for what, sweetums? Uh oh. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so where? It says that. Was I supposed to do something else? Back there? I don't know if I was supposed to. It says I'm supposed to go to... Oh, no, no, not there. I thought it wanted me to go to the crossroads. It wanted me to go to the gateway instead. Because they wanted me to talk to that one guy. And I thought they wanted me to go to crossroads. Caleb? What are you doing over here? Standing mostly. What's going on with the crossroads? I thought the spell would take me back, not just rip open the spiritual realm. Is there any way to stop it? Yes. I assume you are still carrying around that last shred of life you came here with. If you were to give that up, the rips in the crossroad should close right up. Really? It's as simple as that? Yep. A simple sacrifice of a teensy shred of life. And all these rips will seal up good as new, putting everyone in their place for eternity. Of course, you'd be stuck here for good, and the Chuck is probably already powerful enough to destroy every living thing on the planet, so I don't see what good it'd do. So I can close these rips, but then I'll really be stuck here? 